Thanks for joining us for another edition of The Small Business Show with Jim Fitzpatrick, exclusively on ASBN.com. Hey everyone, Jim Fitzpatrick. Thanks so much for tuning in to another edition of The Small Business Show, exclusively right here at ASBN.com and now streaming on Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. Public perception can make or break a company. That's why media training is a strategic necessity for entrepreneurs today. On today's show, we are pleased to welcome back, I should say, CEO and founder of Ryland Media, keynote speaker and podcaster, Miss Lynn Smith. Thank you so much, Lynn, for taking the time out of your schedule to join us on the show once again. Oh, it's great to be here again. I That's was right. here about a year That's ago, right. which is crazy yes. to think about. Unbelievable. Was it a year ago? I know. Oh, it's, my gosh. It's been uh, crazy time goes by fast as an entrepreneur, as you yeah, know. There's no question about <laughs> it. Well, we are so excited that you're in the studio and back again, because last time you were on, we got a boatload of emails that said, you got to oh. bring her back. We got a whole bunch of questions. <laughs> Thank you. You know, everything nowadays, everyone lives on social media. Everybody has become kind of their own celebrity, you know, if you will, in their circles. Some are doing it good. Some are not doing it that good. <laughs> but when it comes to being an entrepreneur and a business owner, as you know, it is so vitally important to be that front person for your brand and for your company. Right? And be good at it. That's, That's right. the key. You know, I tell people all the time. You can be on television, but if you're not good on television, right. then it can do more harm to your brand than good. So Very let's good work point. on getting your message clear, concise, and out there within right. 30 seconds. Right. Right. So that no like and trust in business is what everything's mm -hmm. about. That's right. So we have three seconds to get someone to like us. Three and seconds. And we have 30 really? seconds to get someone to trust us. Wow. That's how quick communication yeah. has to be now. Look at TikTok. I know. Right? I know. I mean, you're swiping up before. <laughs> if you're not getting exactly their right. attention, you're swiping up. That's and so right. that's really what I wanted to be able to solve for people is sure. how do I make it that clear and concise message. Sure, sure. And it is important because you, in building your own brand for your company, that's what it's all about. It's right. really about the person behind the company. So if you bake really good cookies, okay, <laughs> or you build really great widgets, that's fine and dandy. But nowadays, people want to know the personality. They want to know the, the, the human being behind that company. Right? Let's look at someone like Sarah Blakely. Yeah. Spanx is a great product. Everybody great. loves it. Sure. But do we love it because of the product that it is or because Sarah Blakely is like what every woman aspires <laughs> she's to. She's a dynamo. She's a dynamo. Right. And you love her because she's a working yeah. mom with four kids and she communicates that sure. so well. You get to like her so much. Right, right. And that's, I think, why the company has done so well. If right. that company was led by someone different, I, I think you'd have a different outcome. Good. So I yeah. say to leaders all the time, who do you want to be? What is your persona? Yeah. And how can you do that in the most authentic way? That's how you're going to be effective. That's right. That's right. So let's jump in. If you would, give us some teasers here. Give us uh, give us like the, some of the rules of the road, if you would. Because yeah. I know that our viewers are, now you've got their attention. Right? <laughs> Everything she's saying is Do you trust me now on. after 30 we, seconds? We do. We do. So. <laughs> we totally trust you now. So give us some of the do's and don'ts when, yeah. when getting on camera. I think the biggest problem that people uh, face is that they don't realize all they have to be is themselves. Yeah. They try and be good, right. and they're in their head too much. Right. If you can overcome, I call it your brain bully. Okay. It's that voice in your head that's like, does yeah. he think I'm sounding legitimate? Does he think, <laughs> or thinking, wait, I just stumbled on that word. Sure. And that, you know, it can spiral that's very right. quickly. So right. I tell people, think of a name for your brain bully. Mm -hmm. Name that brain bully, and when the voice comes up, it sounds silly, and it's so funny, because sometimes I, when I'm coaching very high-level CEOs, sure. billion-dollar companies, sure. I, some of my techniques, they're a little holistic, and I'm like, I promise I'm not going to bring out the crystals next, but it's true. It works. Mindset yeah. is so powerful. So you name that brain bully, mm -hmm. and you say, sit down. Yeah. Joe, whatever yeah, it whatever. is. Mine's yeah. Bob, sure, because my sure. son got a fish okay. and named him Bob, and I okay. thought it was hysterical. Sit down, watch this. Right. And it's like you change the chatter in your mind in order to get there, be sharp, yep. and, and exude the energy that you mm -hmm. want people to take in, which sure. is confidence. That's right. That's right. Confidence is what is so contagious. Yeah. And I think confidence is overused a good bit. Mm -hmm. I explain to people, you know, confidence is believing you can do anything despite any circumstances. Mm -hmm. Arrogance is just thinking you're good at everything. Ah, but when you're difference. confident, yeah that's when people invest in you. That's right, that's right. So what are, what are the most common mistakes in addition to that that people will, you'll, you'll find will make? Yeah, I think they try and over explain things. Mm. They try and get into too much detail. Okay. And so the way I train executives and individuals, business mm -hmm. leaders, is drill things down into four meaty takeaways. Okay. Drill it down to something that's, what's the headline? Mm -hmm. How does it impact someone? Mm -hmm. 
What have you seen in your experience to validate that? And what do you see for what's next? Right. Those are just really basic, top of funnel. Get in and get out. Get in and get out. <laughs> Let, Don't and, make it too complicated or else people come away with too many messages. Sure. They want to get too much information out. And leave them wanting more. That's right? exactly right. So if, right. if you're out there, because they're all going to go to Google anyway. They're That's all going to exactly go to LinkedIn right. and go, who is this Lynn Smith and mm -hmm. what is she all about? I love what she just had to say, but I want to learn more, right? Yes, so and they need the validation once they go and look for you. You talked yeah. about the importance yeah. of being out there and in the media. So if sure. you Google me, you want to make sure that I have the credentials behind it, sure. right? It's the as seen on. And that's, that's right. what so many people don't realize is the value yeah. of getting out there and getting right. the exposure is that if you're seen on, yeah. that's credibility. That's right. And that's marketing money that you cannot buy enough of. That's right. That's, that's the, right. the key when it comes to credentials. I'm glad you brought up marketing money because I think a lot of people make mistakes nowadays in the sense that they say, well, I've got an ad budget here for my business and yeah. I'm going to spend five or $10,000 a month and I'm going to place Google ads and I'm going to go on uh, this particular magazine or I'm going to buy that newspaper ad or whatever the yes. case might be. When in reality, if they just spend a little bit of time and money with either you or someone like you, yeah. this is, wait a minute, you have the opportunity to be front and center on national or regional television or media um, and learn how to do that, that's gonna go much further mm -hmm. than any ad you place on LinkedIn or any ad you place on Facebook about your company, right? Talk to us about that. Well, it's a good example. Ted Jenkin, who you all know here at ASBN, yeah. he did a piece on foxnews.com, mm -hmm. had over a million hits. Oh my gosh. And they said to him, it was the number one performing article on foxnews.com oh they God. have seen all year. Wow. The validation one for him is great, yeah. but the the no like and trust factor yeah. of being the number of one course. story yeah, on foxnews.com, he's now gonna be writing op-eds oh for them. Wow. So you see the effect That's of right. when you do something big and it makes That's a big right. splash. Yeah and then what it can do for your business. That's right, that's right. And I think a lot of people don't understand how important marketing spend is. Yeah. They, it's the one thing that they need to cut when they're cutting something. Yep. The, yep. A business is built on sales and marketing. That's right. That's what a business is built on. That's if right. you don't have those two pieces in place, that's right. then you're, you're wasting your time you and your energy. That's right, and this business is gonna go that's exactly eventually right. right down the tubes, and then you don't have time to get back in to say, oh, we gotta do sales and marketing. Well, now it's too late exactly. because you don't have those dollars needed. Um, but but in, for some, for the viewers that are listening right now and they hear, oh, she's a media expert and she's in, in media training and mm -hmm. she can help me develop my skills on air, well, that's when I become, when the company gets much bigger. Yeah. No, 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 no. You know, nowadays for the entrepreneurs that are listening, you got to have a great attorney, you got to have <laughs> a great uh, 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 CPA, uh, but when it comes to marketing and advertising, this is an opportunity to get the training that you need to go on air. And someone yes. like you and your company, not only do you train them, which I think is really cool, but you also help them get placed. Yes. Talk to us about that. Well, and that's the problem with, I think, PR in general. And I, and I don't do PR because there's sort of a four-letter word associated with it because <laughs> You know, it, it really is hard to get into some of these places. Yeah, it is. And it you is. have to have the relationships and the totally. people that trust that's right. the individual that's sending you. Because, right. I mean, if you send me somebody when I was on, when I was an yeah. anchor yeah. that yeah. isn't good television, it makes right. me look bad. That's right. And so the key is really getting to a place where you're really good, then yes. getting the opportunities yes. of getting placed. That's but right. what I noticed is everybody that I media trained said things to me like, I'm so much better on my Zoom calls. I'm so much better at my keynotes and my presentations and I realize everything in this methodology that we teach that's them right. translates to every form of yes, communication. And so that's something in 2024 that we're excited about. You know, we have the, the green room, which mm -hmm. is the media training, but yeah. we're gonna be doing the boardroom, which is just communications that's training perfect, perfect. for people that are saying, you know, I feel like I'm holding myself back in my career because yeah. I'm a little afraid of and fill in that blank, sure, right? Sure. Ask yourself, and I encourage everyone who's watching this, what is it that you are afraid of when it comes to that next level that you want to take? That's and right. it's usually a form of a fear of failure. Yep. And so this methodology that is great for if you want to get on TV yeah. applies just as much for if you want to nail that job interview sure. and you want to get to the C-suite and you want to be able to present in a town hall, yep. things like yep. that, that all of us struggle with That's getting right. over that hump of a fear right. of failure. And I will tell you, coming out of corporate America years ago, mm -hmm. and, and I, I'm sure you can back me up on this, those individuals that were in the conference room or in the meeting uh, where th their content was, wasn't maybe even as good as yours, but they presented it really, really well. And you were like, and, 
and guess who gets promoted That's right. all the way up through the ranks because they're so good on their feet they're so good in front of a group they're true or i shouldn't say they're true but everybody sees them as oh they're born leaders Leader. okay? but That's when you talk to say. them they go mm -hmm. i wasn't always that way i got the necessary training to get there right yes and the confidence to be right. able to put myself out there That's to right. stand up in front of a group That's right. and you know i it was interesting because now i work with a lot of ceos right before they do earnings mm -hmm to be able to talk to them yeah. about how do you convey the excitement yeah. of what's going on in the company? Yeah. Because that's what investors are looking for. Right. Is this CEO confident about mm -hmm. what they are putting forth in front of me? That's right. And are they excited about what they're putting forth in front of me? That's right. And that psychologically impacts investors, I think probably more than the numbers. Oh, huge, huge. They say that the eyes are the window to the heart and those investment, Wall Street's looking right in those <laughs> eyes. And, and to your point, the enthusiasm, the confidence behind it, even though the news that that uh, CEO may be delivering, it may be the stock is down or maybe there's a huge debt that's coming due mm -hmm. in that company, but you're right, the successful ones are like, we're planning on this, this is great news we're for us. We're resilient. And you walk away going, oh, I think I'm gonna buy that stuff. Exactly, <laughs> and know? that's the key is that yeah. every business can have a weak spot, but if you have a CEO that sees problems yeah. as exciting and problems as like, I'm gonna find sure. the solution to this, sure. that's when you wanna buy in. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Wow. So the, really when I, when I think about who your clients may be, and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, it's almost anybody that's in business today. Whether you're working for a company and you wanna further your career, or whether you're gonna open up your own business, or whether you've already opened up your own business right. and you're running it, you wanna take it to the next level. It's so vitally important to get this kind of training that we're talking about here today, folks, because if you don't have this kind of training and you don't like the way that you come across uh, on your, whether it be on your iPhone or in a meeting or whatever the case might be, this is fixable, very <laughs> fixable with the right kind of training, right? And you know, I had to get training. This is why I created the methodology. Right. You know, when I started on camera 20 years ago, I would look in the camera and I, uh, 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 and words wouldn't come <laughs> out because it's not natural. Staring into this black lens is not natural. So I had to create a methodology for myself yeah. that helped me overcome that. And I still have to do it. Sure. Keynote speaking wasn't my strong suit, so I had to hire a keynote coach. Yeah. And all of those things, when you invest in yourself, and Warren Buffett actually talks about this, mm -hmm. the greatest investment that you can make is the investment in yourself yeah. because when you are presenting the most authentic mm -hmm. and confident version of yourself that's when you'll see the success yeah. you can be the smartest person in the room yep. but how you present yourself is how you're going to be right. trajectory how your trajectory is going to change yeah. yeah no question about it um, for those of you that are listening to us have this incredible discussion with Lynn Smith if you want to learn more um, go to Ryland Media. Is it RylandMedia.com? It's LynnSmithTV.com. Lynn Smith's even better. Lynn Smith, <laughs> we're going to show all the information on the screen here. Um, and this might be your year, 2024, to say, you know what? I'm not hiding anymore. I'm going to get out in front of my business, in front of my product, in front of my service. I'm going to go to TikTok. I'm going to make those videos that we're all been watching and say, how come I don't do that? How come I can't do that? Well, you can. And uh, we're not talking about a tremendous amount of money here, folks. We're talking about a well positioned investment that you can make, not just in your company's future, but in your own personal future. These are the things that you can ha make happen in 2024 and take your business and your career to levels that you've never seen before. So Lynn Smith, CEO and founder of Ryland Media, news anchor, alum, at CNN <laughs> and NBC and all of the others. So, uh, and of course, a media expert, keynote speaker, podcast host. Thank you so much for coming in. Really Thank you for having it. me. It was yep. a great conversation. Thanks for joining us for another edition of The Small Business Show with Jim Fitzpatrick, exclusively on ASBN.com.